All right. Well, greetings, everybody. Welcome back to yet another video. Um, another iOS video. Um, and I got another iPhone 3GS. But it's white. My first ever white iPhone 3GS. Um, first ever white one. Um, and yes, you might be thinking it's probably on iOS 3 probably, right? Well, actually not. It's still on a rare version. Um, and it is pretty rare. It's not on iOS 3. Um, it's on iOS 4. Um, and I already do have a black one on, on iOS 4. But every iOS 4 free GS I have is on iOS 4.1, right? And 4.1 is the version of iOS 4 that can be downgraded on the iPhone free GS, right? So I do have a theory that... Um, that all my iOS 4 free GSs have been downgraded. Um, I did see one, I think, last year on 4.3.5 on eBay for like $80, and I just missed out on it. Um, but I found this one off eBay um, for, I think it was 64 plus shipping. Um, the seller is really nice. I mean, yeah, she's really nice. Um, has an awesome business for old iPods and stuff like that, right? Um, but it's on iOS 4. 4.0.1, right? Um, I think it's just a 16 gig still. Yep. 16 gig. Um, 4.0.1, right? Um, and it's got a lot of songs on here. It's got no videos. It's got a few photos. One application that doesn't um, work anymore. Um, but pretty cool. The apps came like this. It didn't come reset um, since... Um, since I'm, yeah, right, since I mean, she, I mean, wanted to keep the music on here, um, so I mean, you, I'm seeing, you got the iPod app, um, and, um, it, it says no service, so I guess there's a SIM card in here I forgot to take out, um, I don't, I don't think I can make a call with this, but, um, but really cool, because I've never had a white, um, a 3G or a 3GS before until now, so, um, and, um, Pretty cool. There's a lot of Naya. And I have a theory that this iPhone was never used for more than a year. And it wasn't used past July of 2010. Because when I was looking through the call logs and some other evidence, some email, other stuff. Um, I'm not going to show it just because of um, privacy reasons. But every time I get a lot of these old Amazon devices, I don't get why people just don't reset their devices. But um, but in the, in the call logs and email, it says... Um, was last um used July like eighteenth or something twenty ten and four dot oh dot one was the latest iOS at the time. So um and then they probably upgraded to the iPhone four and um I'm assuming because um that's when the iPhone four just launched so um I think it launched June of O ten um of twenty ten. So um but so there you go. And then I'm not sure if obviously she was the original Right, I of this, or she just found it and sells them, but um, but pretty cool. It's got um, a lot of pictures of Naya, right? Um, boys on here that looked like they were 15 at the time, um, I was eight at the time, so um, and um, a lot of other stuff, Naya, right? Um, looked like they, I mean, some Naya boy early in high school was use this and then upgrade to the iPhone 4 or something. But um just like use it for music, made phone calls, um, had a few apps on here and um but took photos and didn't use it much, but hey. Okay. Um but a pretty cool um device. Um as I said in um in a video I did last week showing off my free GS on iOS three point oh. Um pretty much these are still pretty pretty good for using like as a calculator, right? Um an iPod, of course, right, um, and, um, can kind of take some notes, I don't want to open it, just because of privacy reasons, um, there is some, they yeah, right, personal information on this iPhone, so I do want to be careful, but, um, but it's pretty fun to play around with, um, I tried signing in the App Store, um, I actually have another crazy video coming out, um, right after this one about how, how to maybe download some old apps on, like iOS sound at like four through eight or something. Um oh well, not even connected the Wi-Fi yet on this, so um but um 
it said yesterday, please check your date and time settings. I had to change it. Um, but yeah, really cool. Um, one other thing I just wanted to do was check the wallpaper sound and kind of see what we got with iOS 4. Oh, his name was Malcolm, I guess. Um, and, um, but, um, kind of see what wallpaper we have. Um, so it came with this one when I got it. Um, it's kind of camouflage pink one. Um, I see the stock iOS 4 one was this one, um, iOS 4 and 5, I think. Um, and a lot of people used it in iOS 6 as well. Um, but I think I, the Earth, of course, that was like iOS 1, 2, and 3. Um, and I think that was available up through iOS 6, I think. Um, this one was available like 1 through 9 or something like that. 1 through 10, I can't remember. Um, the two of some flowers. The wave, this is what my dad used to use when, back in the day. Um, but the pretty cool brick, Nea, I think is what I got to say to you right now. And, um, but really cool. I love finding these old, um, iPhones with old information on it from, like, 2009, 2010, right, right, 2011. Um, and, um, I love finding iPhones like this, and they're always welcome in my collection. I got a whole bin of the free GSs. Most are on iOS 6, of course, but I have a few on iOS 3. It's like my fifth one on iOS 4. Um, I only have one on iOS 5, surprisingly. And those are pretty easy to find. So, um, and, um, but, but here's my first white one. So, um, but pretty cool. Um, and I do love always playing around with these old icons because, um, iOS 4 preserved the iPod app before everything was changed to music. Um, and the old maps, voice memos, right, YouTube, right, right, so, um, but, and all on the application, the other applications are pretty much the same through iOS 6, so, um, but really cool, um, I, I remember when I first got, um, my first iPhone collectible that wasn't on its latest iOS, it was a 3GS, and it was 3.1, no, it was 4.1, um, and I was so happy, um, and to finally play around with it, um, I think it was late 2016, early 2017, but, um, but, yeah, but the Freedom GS was the first iPhone to have video recording, there was no selfie camera yet, though, um, but, um, but really cool, um, but they had the free GS and the four had multitasking. Um, and um, and there you go, a really cool device to play around with. Um, and as I said, I got this for, well, I don't know, I did pay a lot for it, but, but I mean, you can find free GSs for like 20 to 30 bucks at most. And I have I think I got one for like 10. Um, and I got in some from free from, the recycling bins and my local Target too in the past too. So um some are functional, some are non functional. I get a lot of non functional stuff over there. But um but um but but really cool. Um the three G S definitely I think the iPhone four definitely takes number one. If I grab one of my iPhone fours here, ugh. um here's my white one that's downgraded the four three out five. Um I might do a comparison with my non-downgraded white um, iOS 4 one with this white free GS. We'll see. Um, but um, but yeah, this time a device I tried selling on eBay and it didn't sell for much, so I didn't sell it. And um, I'm like, might as well just keep it, it, it in my collection. And yeah, right, even though it's downgraded and right, right, but actually not in my collection, outside my collection. But I have it with my non-functional devices. But um. But, yeah, but I think this design definitely takes number one. Um, but it's probably dead. Um, but my, but, yeah, the free GS, I think, definitely really cool. Just because it's nice and retro. I mean, right, right. And um, definitely some nostalgia came out in 2009. So, um, I was seven at the time. So, um, 
but a really cool device to play around with. You just could use one finger. Um, and yeah. Um, but yeah, so I think that's all I have for this video again. And I'll see you guys in the next one.